morning everybody so today i don't really know what to film but i'm just gonna film like spurts of my day i'm getting a little mask acne right here i know we've all had it so it's my turn i guess i'll take the baton but um yeah we're home all day today i think my parents might visit um but yeah, that's about it. We're just gonna hang out, try to get the house back in order. I'm really bad about being like on top of laundry and then like laundry like left in the left in the dryer, folded laundry left in the basket. So I got that mostly done yesterday, but I do have a load in the dryer over there that needs to be folded and put away. Mm-hmm, you coming? And there's the bear bear. Huh. Yeah, he's eating his cereal right now. So, we definitely in the toddler stage. Sir? No. I made him a little activity around the uh, coffee table. I just placed little Apple Jacks all around it so he'll cruise around it. He's not walking, but he is definitely prancing around that coffee table right there. But for his breakfast, we just did cereal this morning, but of course he eats all throughout the day, snacks, bananas, so he can have whatever he wants when it gets there and some water. Yeah. So that's how our day is gonna go. So let's get to it. All right, so I'm getting a head start on dinner right now. We're gonna have loaded baked potato soup. I'm putting a tablespoon of baking grease. I'm having trouble. And then I'm also gonna put three tablespoons of butter. A good base of fat is really, really, um, I, is a huge flavor profile in soups, so I make sure to have to have both for flavor.
after I chop my onion, I'm going to add it to uh, the bacon grease and the butter until the onions are translucent. So the other day from Mother's Day, when I did the um, load of baked potato skins, I just showed it in a quick clip. Um, I scooped out and saved all the potatoes because I am really big into trying to use everything that you have and reuse it and remake it into something else. So uh, this is all the leftover potato and I'm just going to add it in with, um, this was water, uh, part water, part milk, and then I whisked in the sour cream just to get it more like homogenous. And that's what we're gonna go with. So I'm gonna throw the potatoes in here and then the cheese. And I'm making a load of baked potato soup, by the way. So for the cheese, I chose um, just American Singles, a quick melting cheese. Um, I will top it with like regular shredded cheese, but I do prefer a quick melting cheese in my soup. I haven't tried like Velveeta or like an off brand of a Velveeta block. I would like to. I know it does, it does have a different taste, but this works perfect and it's quick and it's, I already had it all in hand. So I wanted to use it up. So for seasonings, I'm going to do some black pepper, be very generous, some salt, some Tony's Creole seasoning, down here in the south we'll just say Tony's. <laughs> And everyone knows what you mean. And some onion powder. And I got these cute little uh, cases at Big Lots. Garlic powder. And paprika. I nearly dropped it <laughs> in the soup. I actually dropped a seasoning in something I was cooking the other day. I thought I ruined the whole meal. And I'm just gonna mix it up and wait for that uh, cheddar to melt as well. Um, I did taste it towards the end of it cooking and I do add seasoning as needed, but like everyone knows and everyone says, you can always add in, but you can't take out. So I do it in small quantities and if I need to add something to it then I will because we love our food seasoned around here. So I got CJ uh, put down for a nap, and now I'm gonna make some um, crusty Dutch oven bread. I do have a small Dutch oven, so um, I've made this once before, and my family was like, this is really crunchy. It wasn't burnt, but they were like, this is crunchy. 
and um, so I'm gonna try to remake it and I think it would be perfect to dip in the soup and kind of like soften up a little bit so let's get to making this okay so the recipe I found is three cups of flour Two teaspoons of sea salt. I actually have sea salt on hand. One, two. And then I have this active dry yeast. I keep mine in the fridge. I do see a lot of people keep it in the freezer. If y'all have any idea that if I'm doing it wrong, then y'all let me know. I'm actually gonna put it in my warm water, which is one and a half cup. No, I'll just pour it in here. So it's one. Yeah, one teaspoon. And then one and a half cups of warm water. I feel like it needs like olive oil or something, but I guess not. And I'm just gonna fold it. flour incorporated I used to have a lot of trouble making breads like they come out too dense and stuff like that I think everyone struggles with that when they first make bread but I really came to enjoy it and it tastes a whole lot better I know there's probably like better ingredients I could use but I use what I'm gonna spray a little of my olive oil spray just around the sides of the bowl so as it rises it won't um, get stuck too bad Hopefully this doesn't ruin the the bread rising process. Okay. And then I just have a little bit of this left on here. There we go. I'm just gonna cover it with the kitchen towel. Oh, mama. What, baby? I'm making lunch. Yes, ma'am. Oh, I love you. I love you. It smell good to you. Okay, so speaking of lunch, so, um, sorry about the lighting. Let me shine some light on the subject. Okay, so, um, last night for small groups, um, we had to switch it to our house because our host, one of her chil one of her children were not feeling good. And so she actually still delivered our dinner for everyone. Um, we had a very small crowd last night. So uh, we have tons of leftovers. But she made Korean beef and broccoli. Yeah. I don't know if she wants any kind of shout out or anything. She doesn't actually know about my channel. So I don't want to put her out there like that. But shout out to her. This was bomb.com. I hope she gives me the recipe. I'm sure I can find it. This is Cruz's bowl. Y'all know how he is on vegetables, but I had to put him some like extra liquid at the bottom. And I took the rest of the broccoli because I love me some veggies. But there's the bee steamed rice. And y'all, if I can find the recipe to this, I will probably make it anytime I make like Chinese, Asian type food or dumplings. Um, there's raw ramen noodles in here don't let it throw you off it's delicious but cabbage i feel like it got like a sweet asian sauce over the top of it um i know there's almonds 
I think there's probably garlic in here, but it's so good. And I just threw it right on top of my plate last night. And I'm super, like I ate myself silly last night. I ate like two plates. So did Cruz and we don't eat two plates. Not anymore, not at our age now, but it's super good. So props to her, she's bomb.com. I'm also on the hospitality team for church and she's our, um, like our lead for the group. And so she has the talent in the kitchen. Yes. No, I always love to either like show that I do my devotional or um, share it with you. Uh, it does keep me uh, or like held accountable that I will get it done because it's very important to have time with God every day. I mean, I pray continuously throughout the day, but actually having time and just that quietness. Um, I did read it out of my Bible. I do tend to read like the whole chapter, but I am just going to share the verse that it's mainly focused on today. And it's out of Matthew 11, 29. Walk with me, work with me, watch how I do it. Learn the unforced rhythms of grace. I won't lay anything heavy or ill-fitting on you. And it, the title of it was The Irresistible Rhythm of Beautiful Routine. And we all got, sorry, Charlie's jumping down. We all have our daily routines and our daily hustle and bustle of life. But and like god knows that like we go to work we take care of our families we take care of our house all you stay at home moms um we take care of our, our children our house and um we just try to keep everything even as mothers even working moms we just try to keep our children and our household in line and so and god sees that and and he's happy with us that we take care of our children in our and we serve our husband and we serve our church and we serve our household and keeping it um, in working organized order, sometimes a little bit of chaos. But uh, I think what God really wants in the middle of our routines and in the middle of our days and weeks that we focus on him and see if our, our daily life is falling behind his footsteps. And then he, it also said, um, okay, I thought I read the wrong one. Sorry, it took a minute. Um, it also says in verse 28 in the same chapter, come to me all, you who are labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. That is a big one. Like, even with our daily routines, sometimes it can get too much and too hard to like even pick it up and you know God's like turn it over to me see what happens see what happens when you fully surrender it over to me see what's going to happen in your life once you like obey me and you just give me back what was you know rightfully mine in the first place and I know God loves his children and he helps us every day and if you really stop and look like you're like well that was God or like that other thing that happened like that was God like you'll see his miraculous hand in everything that we do and so I'm going to challenge myself to really look in and see what part of my life I can follow behind Jesus and, and hand over to God so it'd be, what in my routine can I change that will be honoring to God? How can I let my days and my weeks mimic the way Jesus loved and acted? And then whatever is holding me back or whatever I'm struggling with, let me give it to God. So it'd probably be those three things that I'm going to challenge myself and to really work on and work with God to help build our relationship stronger. And that will not only help our relationship, mine and God's, but also then 
it will just like spread over like a sweet oil over my marriage, over me being a parent, over me serving my church, and it will just, just be an effect and it'll be wonderful. So, full encouragement today and God loves you. <laughs> Dad just woke up. Wait. Gonna talk to Charlie. So CJ's lunch is kind of a mixture of stuff. He's gonna have some of that Korean beef and broccoli crackers, a little bit of raisins and a little bit of pepperoni. He doesn't eat like a whole lot. So I just kind of make him like, like a little snack tray and then his water. All right, so that's gonna do it for this video today. Um, come back tomorrow to see how we finished up dinner and to see how we liked it. Um, I just thank y'all for, for joining us on our journey in life and being part of our family and getting to know us. We really appreciate for all the likes and the comments and um, the subscribers that we're getting day by day. Thank y'all so much for the support. I hope y'all have a good one.